Virginia has just such an abundance of natural beauty, you know, just the way the hills curve and the rivers run through it and the way the sky is, beautiful sky. You got everything from the metro area all the way back through time in Colonial Williamsburg. Uh, you have uh, small towns that are almost art directed in and of themselves. They've shot Civil War movies here, they've shot Revolutionary War movies. Virginia is for film lovers. It is a fantastic place to shoot a movie. I, I love it. I went to a Flying Squirrels game, I've been to all the museums in town, eating the barbecue, eating the pies. And it seems like all movies are made here now. <laughs> it's like a hotbed. <laughs> I mean, the drivers will tell me like, oh, I was, when I was working on Lincoln or, you know, I was here for Captain Phillips. We had a destroyer, we had a missile frigate, and we had an aircraft carrier, thanks to the Navy, which was right there. Uh, the military side of it, they, they couldn't have been more, um, they couldn't have been more open and, and helpful. And they have a film commissioner who, who really understands what filmmakers need to be comfortable. They've got great restaurants in Richmond. They've got good accommodations in Richmond. They have beautiful architecture in Richmond. Petersburg is great. They love having you there. It, it operates in a way like a back lot. They've got great coffee, they've got good food. <laughs> Between everything that you have there, everybody enjoyed the days off. Living arrangements were, were absolutely superb. It's, you know, it's a paradisical place. You, under, you get so much empathy for people and so much admiration for crews who, they're not going to the premieres and they don't have all this glamour, but they're there like 15, 18 hours a day because they want to be right there. That's it. It's over then, you know? Amazed me. It moved me. 